I'm here in the grounds of Ag in Motion with Bergen Nelson, John Deere's go-to-market specialist for combines. And Bergen, we've spoken before, and uh, for good reason, Deere has two new uh, model lineups to talk about this year. So tell me what we're in front of here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. For model year 25, like you mentioned, Scott, we've got two new machines to offer in the marketplace. But the one that's behind us right now is the new S7 combine, the S7 900. And this machine is really built around new enhanced features and bringing efficiency to our customers and more productivity from technology. So a lot of changes from the from the model line it replaces, right? Tell me about that. Yeah, so uh, replacing the previous S series, we've changed quite a bit on this machine. Um, as at first look, we have changed the styling of the machine, so it looks very similar to what an X9 combine looks like. As we look around the machine, we've updated the cab, it's the same cab that's on the X9. We've included cross auger shutoffs. We've included the adjustable and loading auger spout, a new ladder landing going into the cab and onto the rear engine deck. A lot of new features on this machine compared to the old combine. A lot of technology on this machine. That's too, right. right. Yeah, on the new S7 combine, as well as the X9 combine, we'll have new technology from all the year 25, uh, being predictive ground speed automation, which is two cameras on the front of the cab that look out 30 feet in front of the cutter bar. And those cameras are looking at crop height and crop density. And then we're also bringing from our John Deere Operations Center a predictive yield layer map into the cab. And so as we're harvesting, that camera is ground truthing what it's seeing against the predictive, layer, the predictive yield layer map. And that's allowing the machine to speed up and slow down proactively, allowing in a very smooth operation for the customer, kind of like uh, cruise control for them. And that's bringing almost up to 20% productivity, keeping the machine running at peak performance all throughout the day, throughout the various yielding crops that they're harvesting. And that allows a less experienced operator to do a really yeah, good job. Yeah, 100%. Yep. Anybody can get in there, turn the technology on, engage the new technology, and it's going to automatically speed up and slow down. It's going to provide them a very comfortable experience, but bringing the custom operator or the farmer increased productivity. Now at the back end, some residue uh, distribution changes, yeah, right? Yeah, on the new S7 combine, we were introducing the premium power cast tailboard, which is a mechanical drive, which is a change from our previous model. The previous model was hydraulically driven, so we're getting a power gain or power efficiency gain out of the new tailboard, but also allowing us to size and spread residue uh, a lot better than we were able to do in the past. And it's actually the same tailboard that's available on our X9 combines, which has been a big fan. So what engines are you running in these? Yeah, so behind us on the S7 900 and then the S7 800, we have the new 13.6 liter engine running at lower RPMs and bringing down our customers' overall fuel costs by almost up to 10%. And then on the S7 600 and S7 700, we have the new Gen 2 9 liter with new after treatment system. But the 13.6 is going to be a great engine and the machine that's standing behind us right here. So what's... Uh... You can get the, the grain off just about as fast as you can get it on, yeah. right? So tell me about the unloading right Yeah, now. so we have a 400 bushel grain tank on this machine. We're unloading a little over 4.3 bushels a second on this combine. And like I mentioned, we have the cross auger shutoffs allowing us to shut the augers off within the grain tank, allowing the grain to empty out so we're not carrying all that weight out there. And then we also have the adjustable loading auger spout that our customers can control from a reprogrammable button right on the hydro handle from within the cab, allowing them to get that grain in the grain cart or in the semi. Now you guys have also introduced a model that's going to appeal maybe more to the mixed farmer segment, right? Yeah. Tell me about that. Yeah, so we're also introducing for Model Year 25 the T6800, and that's replacing the T670. And that's a conventional walker style machine. Um, so a lot of updates to that compared to the T670, new styling, the same new cab that we have on the Model Year 25 S-Series combine, as well as what we have on the X. Uh, increased unloading auger speed to 4.3 bushels a second, so it's actually the same unloading auger as what we have on the S-Series combine. Um, we're also bringing some new technology there on that machine, so and the new Gen 2 9 liters. So a complete refresh of the T-Series combine, so operators that are interested in the T-Series, they're going to find that machine very enjoyable to operate with some new enhanced technology. Interchangeable headers? Uh, yeah, we're very compatible with our different front-end equipment lineups, whether it's a belt pickup, RDF, or HDR head. Thanks. Yep, thank appreciate you. It. Appreciate your time.